Hi, I'm Michael O'Brien, and in this video, we'll be demonstrating the Ulysses speedometer with the recommended iBolt car docks. Together, they give you an awesome driving experience. At the end of this video, we'll be showing you the differences between the Pro and the free version. The USC app is really easy to use. Just insert your Android phone into your car dock and it will transform into an advanced dashboard with media controls. But stay with us, we have plenty more features to come. So here we are in the car ready to take a test drive. Today we will be using the Samsung Note 3 with the iBolt dock and play cable. With this cable you can play the sound and GPS directly to your car's stereo. Before driving, let's go over the USC dashboard and its main functions. In the top left corner is the clock. In the top right corner, we have the date and day indicator. Now on the bottom right side, we have a really handy battery indicator. The main screen has four gauges and two trip meters. The large gauge is a speedometer. A tap opens access to the main menu. From this page, you can configure the dashboard, which we'll go over when we're back in the studio. For now, we'll show you speed sound limit alerts. For the purpose of this test drive, we've set up two speed limit alerts that are common in New York, 35 miles per hour and 55 miles per hour. The gauge to the left of the speedometer is the compass. Press once and the average speed will be shown. To reset the speed calculation, just long press for three seconds. This is a great tool when driving through areas with video controlled speed calculation, which is common in Europe. The gauge with the green ring is a GPS indicator. Press this once, you can see your GPS navigation app, as well as spots for two other apps. If you click into Google Maps, you can see the overlay for all four gauges. See the whole trip overlay, the compass, the elevation, and the speed. If we click on one of the overlays, we have set it to show the media control where we can play our favorite songs. This fourth gauge is for your elevation meter. It's handy for when you're in mountainous areas. But another cool feature is hidden. With one tap, you can find your racing tools where you can measure your time from 0 to 60. 0 to 100, and quarter mile. One more tap, you can see the moving and average speed. One swipe to the right shows your integrated media control, where you can play music from your favorite apps, like Premium Radio, Pandora, and Spotify. On the left side is a current trip meter. It counts the distance and time for the current trip and automatically resets every time the app is relaunched. You can also keep track and save up to three additional trips. More about that later. On the right side, you see your date-based trip meter. It keeps track of the distance where you've been driving today, yesterday, this week, this month. The fifth and final trip meter is the total, which works like a traditional odometer. For this trip, we'll be using Google Maps. Let's set the destination as the Empire State Building. Empire State Building, New York, New York. We'll explain how to configure these in the studio session. As we approach our speed limit of 35 miles per hour, the speed limit sound alert goes off. This alert will sound no matter what screen we are viewing. See how the compass recalculates as we turn. The current address recalculates as we drive as well. back in the studio after a short drive and here I can show you some of the details from our trip and some of the settings of the app. So 
So here we can show the detailed trip view. If we long click on it, we can see all the driving we did today, such as the distance traveled, the duration of our trip, the day we began and ended, as well as the location we began and ended at. You can also see the max speed, as well as the average speed and the average moving speed. Here's a total amount of time traveled, as well as the amount of time moving and idle. Click on the compass, you can see the average speed of our trip, which is only 12.3 miles because there was traffic. If you click on the speedometer, that brings you to your main menu, where you can show your navigational panel. You can put your favorite navigational apps, as well as your communication panel, where you can set up one-click dialing like we have here, and your apps wall. You can set things like Spotify and your camera. Also on the menu, we have night mode, which dims your display. You can set up your units. You can change it to kilometers per hour, or knots or miles per hour. Also turn on your HUD, which will be displayed in a car. You can put it on the dashboard, and what it does is it reflects this image onto your dashboard, so it looks like a futuristic uh, speedometer. You can also select your profile. So here we have my own profile set for Mike. You can also reset your max speed. And within your secondary menu, you have your trip meters, your orientation, your tracks, your contact, and you can even go in and change your settings. And here's another area you can change your units. You can adjust the speedometer and the colors, also the brightness. You can change whether you see the speed you're going in the status bar up here. You can change the position of your overlays. So say if we wanted to change the way that it looks in Google Maps, we click Maps. And here we have our four trip meters as we discussed before. You can move the compass to wherever you want, whatever is comfortable. Within the alarms panel, you can turn on or off your speed edge and speed alarm sounds. So the edge is for when you're approaching the speed, and the alarm is for when you reach that speed. As you can see, the Ulysses speedometer has a load of features. When you combine it with the right eyebolt car dock, you have an amazing driving experience. Drive safely, see you again soon.